Welcome back to Flyboys, everybody. Look at this. Dude. I got a double jump. I got a double jump. And I can walk on water very fast. Oh, <laughs> dude. I'm feeling pretty good, man. This Tinker's armor is outstanding. It's outstanding. It's incredible. I have red eyes. Yes, I have red eyes. Why do I have red eyes? I will tell you why. <laughs> I have red eyes and I also have red hair. Okay? 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 This was from... <laughs> this was from a live stream that I did. Staffio, one of the viewers, said... Uh, <laughs> he donated and said, Hey, can you change your skin to the same color as Super Saiyan God Goku for a short period of time? And I said, Dude, thank you for the donation. I will do that for you. So, dude, I couldn't resist. So generous, and I kind of wanted to see what it looked like anyway, so this is pretty fun. So I'll change it back, I'll change it back soon, but come on man, it's pretty fun. Well guys, today the main goal is to get some work done on the interior of this submarine. Before we get going on that, check this out. Are you wondering? Are you wondering why I'm, fl I'm climbing this? There is no ladder here, yet I am climbing. You may have already figured it out by seeing the black borders, but I just I made a discovery, and it's probably been discovered before. You know, I might not have been the first person to discover it, but wait a minute. Oh, there it is. But check this out. Check this out. It's a hatch. This is a carpenter's hatch. So what I did. Whoops, don't behave like an iron door. So what I did is I took a plain old car uh, carpenter's hatch, threw the basalt on it, and it blends in perfectly. It's like a hidden ladder. <laughs> oh, pig team will have no idea. They'll be trying to get it. Well, I do have a ladder on the other side. But the reason I figured this out was because I have these ladders, and then I had this hatch, and I was like, wait a minute. Why can I cl climb up that hatch? because it's it's part of the hatch's properties that you can climb up the front of it. <laughs> so I thought that was pretty cool and I had to show it with you guys and maybe it's been done before, but I didn't know that and I had to do it. All right, well let's get inside this submarine. Dude, the thing is, it's just empty. We got some power going on over there, but the thing is empty. And it's gonna take a while to fill this up with stuff, but this is gonna be my main base. This is gonna be the headquarters where I do all my stuff. And no, it does not move. The The boat does not move. We don't have Archimedes ships uh, in this mod pack. But guys, I think last time I was on here, there was water everywhere. And I don't know if I already mentioned it before, the way I got rid of the water was to get use the carpenter's garages. And as soon as you place one, it gets rid of all the source blocks under it. So I just placed a million of them. And I did it during a live stream, and it was painful to, for people to watch, but we did it, and we got all the water out. And that's all that matters, you know? That's all that matters, let's see. Let's see, let's get a little coal in here. Oh yeah, now we're cooking. <laughs> All right, so what we're doing today is getting the, getting this area, getting it looking like the interior of a submarine. Now, what does the interior of a submarine look like? Good question, because I didn't know until I Googled it. <laughs> I just did a Google image search of submarine interior, and what I found was, it looks like just a bunch of pipes, actually, let's take this coal out. It looks like a bunch of pipes, a bunch of knobs and, and wheels, and a bunch of crazy stuff. Just, just things, just lots of things everywhere. And I was like, okay. Dude, well let's that let's have that be the theme. So the goal is to just put lots of things in lots of places. Now, something I realized, I already have a flaw 
in how I was preparing this. I put, I put this infinite source black thing here, but I need to go up one level. Oh man, oh man, stupid full inventory. Let's get rid of these things. I do need to fill up those turrets again. Okay, those are filled, those are filled. Now let's do a little of this. Now I was trying to figure out what to do for the floor, but the interior submarine that I looked at, it looks like the floor was kind of like this. So we're looking at something like this. <laughs> I love the sound that makes, man. Whoops, that's okay. And these are so cheap to make. It's just smooth stone and iron, and you get like 32. You get 32 of these for each, maybe like four smooth stone, four iron, something like that. Uh, let's see here. Okay, okay. Two buckets would be good, <laughs> but I don't want to waste the bucket. Okay, okay. Let's see here. How do I want to? do this uh, hmm I know I know okay okay chisel give me that chisel all right now guys another thing I wanted to talk to you about is I'm getting a new chair and I'm very excited you might not be excited but I'm excited um, a new chair is very important to me because I sit in this stinking chair for very long periods of time, okay? And it's not the most comfortable. The chair that I'm currently sitting in is probably, dude, this thing is probably five years old. Crap, I picked up those sticks again. The chair is probably five years old and uh, <laughs> yeah, the seat on it bottomed out after maybe two three months <laughs> like it's just a standard office chair from like target or something so you know they're not really made to last there's not a lot of design involved in these and i'm sorry i'm sorry to target <laughs> if you're offended <laughs> but like you get what you pay for you know it's not too expensive of a chair so i've been looking at other chair options. Okay, okay. This goes blast, blast. This is what we do. I put this in the wrong spot. This goes here. Oh no, close it up, close it up. Okay, will this work? Is that infinite? Yes, perfect. <laughs> All right, so yeah, I've looked at a lot of chair options, and my brother has been looking into it as well. That's not level. Well, let's see if this works. My brother's been looking into it as well, and he found this chair. He found this chair made by Herman Miller, and apparently, this is what I hear. If, if the rumors are true, this was the legend, that <laughs> there was a competition to to make the best, most ergonomic, comfortable chair ever. And Herman Miller won it. Whoops, did I do that right? Yeah, Herman Miller won it with this chair. So my brother got it and he said it is absolutely amazing. The only problem is it is very expensive. Okay, now guys, this might seem a little strange but I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be placing some carpenter's blocks here and there at random. This is gonna look very strange at first, but you will see, you will see how it, it will be very great eventually. <laughs> but yeah, dude, the thing's very expensive, which makes sense. Like I said, you get what you pay for. You pay, you pay a lot, you get a lot. And let's put some of these, one here, one there one like this one like this and like so whoops eh, let's leave that let's see what that looks like okay so that's pretty good all right 
So that looks pretty crazy, but you'll see, you'll see. Let's start making these blocks. Um, okay, where's the crafting table? So I was I was debating, I'm like, okay, this Herman Miller chair, if with all the additions, they get up to be about a thousand bucks. That's expensive. That's very expensive. Uh, but if you're gonna be using it for years and years and years, and I don't think they wear out, like, at all. Uh, let's do a stack of these. And then another couple stacks of these. Hopefully that should be good. Now how do you make these lab blocks? And I was also looking at the DX racers. Because a lot of gamers, a lot of people use the DX racers. Oh no. Oh no, it's quartz. Dude, I don't got quartz. I don't think I have quartz. Wait a minute, yes I do. Let's hold off on this. I don't actually, I might not need the lab blocks. Um, but yeah, so I was looking at the DX Racer chairs and apparently those are really comfortable too and those run about three to 500 bucks on those. So that's cool, so I was like, okay, I can look into that as well. But then, someone brought to my attention, whoops, so brought to my attention, you can get these Herman Miller chairs used. And it's not really that strange to get a used one because if you look at it, there's not like, there's not a lot of fabric to it that if someone was like really gross or something, you're gonna be smelling them. Like, with, with a certain fabric, you, you spill something on it or you sit on it for a long period of time, it can get gross. But with this, it's just like, it's like a woven material, uh, super easy to clean, and it, uh, yeah. It's just really, really um, low profile. And I'm like, dude, I could do that. I could do a used chair like that. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys how I made these barricades. It's not the easiest thing, like, okay. So you get bone meal around, or surround bone meal with leather, and then, whoops, no, 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 no. I'm showing you the barricade. Okay, I showed you the other thing. Paper, dandelion, ink sack, you get this hazard tape. Then after that, you make the snow barricades. So it's bone meal surrounded by leather, and then stone surrounding that snow camouflage. And then you surround the tape with these. So that was an off camera kind of thing, but I wanted to at least show you guys how to make it. All right. Now these, I believe I had these. I did this all in a creative world. I think I had them like this. One, two, three. Yeah. This is different. This is a little different than how I did it in my creative world, but I'm cool with that. Oh, wow. These aren't easy to break. Well, let's leave that one. Let's leave that one. We'll go like this. We'll see how this looks. One here, here. Bada boom. Bada bang. Okay, nice. All right, let's put that up there. Now, for the technical blocks. Let's go crazy with these. So, anyway, anyway. I found a Herman Miller chair for like a third of the price that they normally go for used, and I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get this chair. I'm very excited. And dude, cause the chair that I'm sitting in, the five year old one, it's not good. Guys, I sit in this chair for sometimes up to 14 hours in a day which is crazy. Just sitting in one spot for that period of time is crazy. It's crazy. And you know, that much sitting, you get pain. And every once in a while, I'll just get a little bit of pain, like kind of in the pelvis area, because you're sitting 
you're just sitting for so long and uh, I have a confession to make I got a bony butt okay I don't I don't I don't care admitting that it's just that's just how things work <laughs> uh, but yeah so it hurts man it hurts after just sitting in one spot for a long period of time so you need a good chair so I'm going for this one I'm super super excited to be comfortable <laughs> Uh, but yeah guys, so what I'm doing here is just placing these blocks at random. The whole goal is to just make this place look like some kind of industrial thing. Dude, I'm telling you, look up look up on Google. Do a Google image search of submarine interior and you will see just a bunch of crazy, crazy knobs and buttons and wheels and fans all sorts of stuff dude that zombie is annoying zombies are normally annoying but that one is a talkative one dude he will not be quiet oh man all right so we got these let's do let's do a little more changing how about some of these i like these some of what else some of these and some of, dude, that's stinking zombie. Some of these, oh, these are cool. And what else? Let's get some cables going. And then how about, what else? We got the cables, a malfunctioning fan. Um, yeah, let's get a malfunctioning fan, why not? So one of these, oh yeah, do it like that. That's cool, keep picking up that stinking torch. Now this one is a cool one. That's a cool texture that that's got. It's like a moving texture kind of thing. I like this one. Boom, boom. Uh, let's get this one going. <laughs> oh yeah, and you're probably wondering why are you putting it on the carpenter's blocks if you're just gonna leave it as the same shape? Well, I will not be leaving it as the same shape. Okay, put that there, put this here, put this there, and did I already do these? I did these. There's the malfunctioning fan. <laughs> okay, malfunctioning fan is there. Technical block, okay, okay. Now, here is one problem with what I've done. I forgot which one. Oh, there we go. I forgot which ones I made the carpenter's blocks. So that was a little problem with my method. All right, where? Oh, there's another one. So what I'm doing is just adding a little bit more texture by moving these guys backwards. Oh, here we go. Here's another one. So moving these guys backwards, it just makes sure everything isn't flush and yeah, it just gives a little more, a little more texture, a little more detail to it. Dude, why does it have to be the last one? Okay, okay, dude, this is this is starting to look pretty decent. We're getting we're getting some detail going on. So I am going to, dude, I am going to do some of this off camera because this is actually pretty time consuming. Even though I have all the materials and everything, this is kind of time consuming. So I'm going to do the rest of this off camera and we will come back and I will show you uh, kind of a little bit of a finished product. Okay, so I did a little work on it. Let me show you guys the progress I got. Now, it's going to look a little insane, but that's the whole idea. That's the idea. Okay, look at this crazy place, dude. This place is insane. You got fans, you got machines, you got all sorts of stuff. I actually brought one of my Glenn's gases furnaces down here because I'm not I'm not really gonna be doing a lot of gas stuff. But, dude, I think this looks pretty cool. The whole idea is just to make tons of tons of things. Pipes, vents, uh things going crazy, fans, uh you know, a little of this, a little of that. So Mission accomplished. I threw some carpenter's barricades up here, changed the texture a little, threw some factory block 
texture on it. I think that looks nice. Just kind of representing pipes going here and there. And this is where the power is going to be. I'm going to put like a redstone furnace here, pulverizer here, induction smelter here, magma crucible here. And, you know, those will be all powered. And then with these pipes, I'll probably bring this down and around and then I will run that or the flux ducts, whatever you call them. I'll run them all the way down to whatever I need power to. Maybe I won't need power on that side of the sub, but this is what we're looking at now. It's a little dark, <laughs> it's a little bit dark, so I'm gonna do this little trick that you guys taught me during my last, or not my last live stream, one of my recent live streams. But you throw a little, you shift right click glowstone on a carpenter's block, then you put the block over it, yes! That lights it up. Let's do some down here too. Is that gonna mess with the texture? Oh, please don't. It does blast. Okay. <laughs> well, maybe maybe I'll end up doing that trick to one of these other blocks instead, instead of doing it on the ground, because I don't really like that square outline. No, that's gotta go. No square outline, boom, baby. And I threw these little vents in here, these rusty vents. I think that's a nice little detail as well. But it's it's a crazy, you know, it's a crazy room. And all this stuff doesn't mean anything, but there will be some function. All of my all my stuff is gonna be here. Still not sure if I wanna put my storage in here or another room, but yes, this is what uh, this is what I came up with. Let's fill in that hole. There we go. But dude, I hope you guys like it. I hope it's uh you know not too much of an eyesore. But seriously, this is what this is my best representation of the interior of a submarine. I'm, I'm telling you, Google it. You're just gonna see a bunch of crazy machines and stuff. But I think, I think it turned out pretty good. But anyway, guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, feel free to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next Flyboys. Uh oh. Please put rockets in. Oh. He got the Enderman, no way! Please get the Creeper. I can't believe that, dude. That blows my mind.